Hello guys, welcome back to S3D and sorry for these uh, half-assed video reviews. Uh, I don't plan on doing them much in the future, but uh, you know, I'm doing the three video uh, minimum requirement. So this is gonna be one of those videos. So anyway, uh, this right here is a Marvel Legends figure. I look back at my channel, looks like the last couple of videos I did before I completely gave up on YouTube uh, was uh, Marvel Legends figures. Uh, I know recently I've been, you know, uh, I, I actually just check up on some channels, uh, you know, my old friends channels here on YouTube. I actually haven't watched YouTube for over a year. You know, it's uh, liberating. But <laughs> anyway, uh, but I, I don't want to get sucked back into this whole like shenanigan situation. I mean, you know, just look at the uh, uh, the community tab and you guys will see why. I, I'm coming back to make these three videos. Uh, it just sickened me to the core, uh, what they what they just did to me. <laughs> but anyway, oh, it's it's ridiculous. Uh, so basically, after I upload these three videos, I have to reapply for eligibility so I can get the channel remonetized. And meanwhile, uh, YouTube is keeping all the ad revenues on all my videos for themselves. So. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's very ethical and very moral. Anyway, so yeah, why why am I do? <laughs> it's like I don't want to ramble, but it, it's just it just it just happens whenever I'm on this platform. So this is gonna be a very half-assed review of this Marvel Legends build figure. This is the Cassie Lang figure. Uh, this is actually my first build figure ever in the history of collecting. Uh, that's a that's a very big surprise. Uh, the reason I got this figure is because she's actually kind of in this one six scale, and uh, she's relatively cheap to build. You know, this figure cost me like maybe under fifty dollars to put together. Uh, I just bought the build a figure parts off Macari and put it together. So, yeah, it's like fifty bucks. Uh, to some people, maybe that's still a little steep, but you know, if you're into one six scale figure, uh, if you get a nicely painted, sculpted figure for 50 bucks i think you're getting a solid deal here uh, she's slightly underscaled but you can see uh for a teenager i think she's okay here's her next guitar man you know i think this is acceptable scale uh the reason i got her is because uh you know i can use her as a test sample to uh put on the uh custom soft goods i'm making for uh one six scale figures you know <laughs> and some messing with like hot toys or other stuff with like uh you know joints that doesn't really hold up uh this is actually a pretty solid figure you know you can put stuff on it take stuff off and it's it's very easy to work with uh than your typical you know very overly complicated one six scale figures not that is a bad thing but you know uh, to be constantly putting accessories on, you know, testing the fitment and stuff like that, uh, gets very, very difficult <laughs> on the, you know, like a high end, uh, 160 figure. You have to worry about, you know, damaging it. You have to worry about handling it, you know, and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, I do have to say the sculpting on this figure is definitely very well done. I think this is probably one of the better product Hasbro has ever put out. The scope work is very nice. The articulation is actually exceptionally good. Uh, it's a female figure with double jointed elbows. It's got an ab crunch. And uh, really, like, nothing really break the scope here. Like, if you're looking at it at every angle, you know, the, the scope works. And the articulation is there. You know, I dare to say, like, this figure... It's a little bit nicer than that uh, $150 uh, Tarman figure from Trigger Tree Studios. It's just like, <laughs> I mean, technically she came with two head sculpts. This figure came with two head sculpts. And she had interchangeable hands. And uh, you can get her for around 50 bucks <laughs> versus that guy right there. But, uh, you know, apples to oranges. But anyway, uh... I'm not an expert on Hasbro products. Uh, I heard recently there's been a lot of hate for Hasbro. You know, it's well deserved. You know, the the company uh, being a shortchanging people for years. 
and I'm glad to see, uh, you know, some people finally, uh, people finally wise up <laughs> because I've been complaining about this company for years, but, uh, for now I'm giving them praise because, uh, this figure is actually really nice. Uh, yeah, kind of like a balancing act, but, uh, you know, hopefully they listen to the consumers and, uh, you know, make some changes. I don't really have any expectations for uh, these uh, big American corporations because technically, you know, uh, at the end of the day, it's all about the bottom line. So they do what they have to do uh, to be profitable. But anyway, uh, that is pretty much it for this video. Uh, doing the bare minimum, the three video uploads every 90 days. So I'll see you guys uh, when I am uh, about to lose my eligibility. Thanks for watching, guys.